Welcome to all. In this video, we will see about tissue specific promoters, selectable markers, scorable markers, reporter gene, and analysis of transgenic plants. In general, the expression gene consisting of a promoter that is specific to the organism followed by gene of interest followed by terminator sequence containing the stop signal. Promoter DNA sequence have the signal which directs the proper binding of the RNA polymerase with accessory proteins and activates to form which is capable of transcription. The promoter sequence are unique to specific polymerases of an organism. Two types of promoters are exist. One is called constitutive promoters. Second one is called tissue specific promoter. Constitutive promoters drive the expression of the transgene in all parts of the plant throughout its life cycle. Example 35S promoters derived from cauliflower mosaic virus, rice actin promoter and maize ubiquitin promoter. Tissue specific promoters are more specific to certain tissues and organs of the plant and also they are specific to certain developmental stages of the plan. If it is specific to developmental stage, it is called temporal specific promoter. If it is specific to certain part of plant, it is called tissue specific promoter. Example is endosperm tissue specific rice gluten promoters, temporal specific tabetal TA29 promoter first during the anther development. Certain other promoters are more specific and respond to cues in the plant's internal or external environment such as light, temperature, etc. Now we will see about selectable marker. Selectable marker is added in the transgenic construct to identify plant cells or tissues that have successfully integrated to the, with the host chromosome gene. This is necessary because only a small person of the success is realized with respect to the integration into target cells. Selectable markers encode proteins that provide resistance to antibiotics or herbicides in plants. The plant cells that have integrated with the selectable marker gene will survive when they are grown in the medium containing specific antibiotic that are toxic to the plants and herbicides. These genes have no internal functions in the genetically modified organisms. Now we will see some of the widely used selectable markers in plant transformation. Add a gene or adenyl transferase. This shows resistance against trimethoprin, streptomycin, spectinomycin, sulfonamide. Blee gene showing resistance against bleomycin and cat gene or chloramphenicol acetyltransferase able to survive the plants against chloramphenicol selection medium and DHFR or dihydrofolate reductase shows ability of the plants to survive against methopterin, trimethoprim and sulfonamides and next one is commonly known as EPSPS stands for enol pyruvyl sikimate phosphate synthase. This shows the ability to grow against the herbicide glyphosate. And another one HPT hygromycin passport transferase also known as APH5 HPH shows hygromycin resistance. Another one is neomycin passport transferase or NPT2 shows resistance against neomycin, kenamycin, paramomycin and Geneticin or G418. And the last one is Pasmenothricin acetyl transferase, Padgin or Bargin, resistance against Pasmenothricin, the commercial names of Basta, Liberty, and Herbiaceae. So if we hear the Monsanto Liberty link cotton means it is showing resistance against the herbicide Liberty that means Pasmenothricin. Next we will see reporter gene. The reporter gene is a gene whose phenotypic expression is easy to monitor. Unlike selection marker, here we can monitor the expression pattern of the reporter gene. Along with the genes of the interest and selectable marker, the reporter gene is also introduced into plants. They are usually used to study the efficiency of DNA delivery system and its expression. The ideal scorable marker or reporter gene should have following characteristics. The reporter gene as a should be easy and precise. The gene product does not cause any cytotoxicity. The reporter gene product should be degraded rapidly. The product should not show resistance in adverse chemical or any chemicals used in the assay. It should not produce any background noise data while measuring its expression. And it is easily quantifiable for our studies. Here we will see some of the scorable markers also known as reporter genes. The first one is UIDA ASCUS stands for beta glucuronide glucuronose hydrolase. So it will react with colorless glucuronide popularly known as X-gluc 5-bromo-4-chloro-3-indolyl glucuronide into 
deep blue color indolyl compounds. Next one is GFE or green fluorescent protein. The expression of these proteins absorb 395 to 470 nanometer light and emits at 509 nanometer. Next one is luciferase. The luciferase catalyzes luciferin in and converted into oxyluciferin and production of light. And next one is CAT gene or chloramphenicol acetyl transferase. This involved in acetylation of chloramphenicol and resulted in acetyl chloramphenicol and it is monitored by autoradiography or thin layer chromatography. And last, opine synthase genes are also used. The agrobacterium opine genes such as octopine, napolins are used and it is detected by the presence of or addition of NADPH. Next, we will see the detection of genetically modified organisms or analysis methods for identification of transgenic plants. The molecular and biochemical analysis of transformed plant material is done by two reasons. First one is to determine whether the material is really transgenic or not. Second one is to characterize the material. Several methods are widely used to detect GMOs. The simplest method is PCR. We can use the our transgen specific primers and detect the presence or absence of DNA fragment by PCR and next one is quantitative PCR estimating the copy number and southern blotting hybridization also helps us to tell the copy numbers and presence of transgene and reverse transcription PCR helps to understand the gene expression and northern blood is another hybridization technique to help us to check the transcription ability or that means gene expression at transcription level and next technique ELISA and western blood helps to detect the gene expression at protein levels. Now we will see biosafety. Biosafety is the term refers the containment principles, technologies and practices that are implemented to prevent unintentional exposure to the pathogens or toxin or accidental release of the such materials into the environment. The safety and economics of transgenic organisms in agriculture is critical for both consumers as well as producers such as farmers. The transgenic technology have enormous potential to solve several problems of modern agriculture. It can helps to conserve natural resources and protect the environment. Several evidences show that transgenic plants are as safe as food and non-food crops. Organization of Economic Cooperation and Development known as OCED is established in 1993, published general principles applied to large scale production and commercialization of genetically modified plants. Safety in biotechnology is achieved by the appropriate application of risk or safety analysis and risk management. Risk or safety analysis. The risk analysis or safety analysis comprise hazard identification and if a hazard has been identified, you have to assess the risk. It is based on the characteristics of the organisms introduced to try environment in which the organism is introduced, the interaction between the host and the environment and the intended application of the transgenic organism. It is conducted prior to an intended action and is typically a routine component of research to analyze the risk assessment and safety analysis. It is a scientific procedure which every case will necessarily be reviewed by the national and other regulatory authorities. Now we will see the key risks and concerns associated with transgenic plants. The risk for animals and human health is the first one. Toxicity, food quality and safety presence of allergens, pathogen drugs are the key risks have to be assessed against animals and human health. And next, next is risk for environment. The persistency of transgenes and transgenic products such as accumulative effects and susceptibility of non-target organisms and its impact on increased use of chemicals in the agriculture and unpredictable gene expression or transgene instability has to be assessed to understand the environmental impact and risks for agriculture. The resistance or tolerance of target organisms weeds may lead to the development of super weeds. The super weed is extremely resistant to herbicides especially one created by the transfer of the genes from genetically modified crops into the wild plant. Example is glyphosate resistant water hemp and palmer amaranthus. Other general concerns such as loss of familiarity among the farmers, high cost risk also has to be considered and horizontal gene transfer, genetic pollution through pollen or seed dispersals and horizontal gene transfer has to be assessed. Thank you.